Hey guys, it's Robo here. As some of you may know, I recently finished MS Paint IDE, but as cool as that is, it's really cumbersome to switch between Paint and something like Discord just to talk to people. Well, this is the exact problem that Emoji IDE solves. Emoji IDE is literally just an IDE entirely in Discord emojis. This was made for the subreddit Programmer Humor's month-long hackathon with the theme of over-engineering. I really hope this meets requirements because it features over 40 Discord servers just to store emojis, along with a working ANSI keyboard, syntax highlighting, and a bunch of other cool stuff all in emojis. In this video, I'm going to be showing off a few of the IDE's features, and just going to be running some code in it. So once you go through all the setup steps on the wiki and everything, you can just type help, and then I'll show you all the help commands and everything. And with all these little blue links, if you click on them, they actually run the command. So you can just run the help command again, and it sends it again. And with this, I'm just going to be changing to the IntelliJ theme, the fire code font. So you can literally just click themes, and it'll show you the themes right here, default, which is selected in IntelliJ. You can just click on that, and it switches right there. And you can even see that it does persist, of course. And then you can just do the same with fonts. And these are actually just rendered in the actual fonts that they are. So this is in the uh, Gonzales font, and this is in fire code. And it looks like this is already selected. But if you wanted to, you could switch back and forth, whatever. And then the first thing that you want to do is uh, set, the f uh, set the channel that you want the ID to actually show in, which you can click this, but this just sets it to the main channel. I just want to do it in the programming channel. You can do IDE set channel, and then it sets right here. You can close that, and you can just go back, and you can either do uh, exclamation IDE start or restart, whatever you want. I'm just going to click the little button right here because I like that. You can see it'll already start sending the emojis right here. And this does it at a rate of one emoji per second, which it is fairly slow, but it's fairly optimized rendering. rendering. But if you see the video uh, sped up at all throughout the video, then it's just so it doesn't make it painfully long. So this welcome tab right here, which is selected as you can see, it just shows some of the hotkeys that you can do. Then the little logo right here, on all of this is made of just emojis. And then there's the keyboard right here. So this keyboard is, again, all emojis, and you can type in it as a normal keyboard. And with this, we're just going to be uh, creating a little file and then executing it. So to do that, you can just do Control n like you would any other text editor, really. And then it's just going to show a little dialog right here, name it. We're just going to name it Test dot js because currently the ide only supports javascript and that's just because i'm lazy and you can make a pr if you want it uh, like with more languages or anything or just ask me if i'm not doing anything and then you can just click enter and then this will start slowly going away and then you should see another tab that starts showing up right here that's selected and then very slowly it'll just start removing these lines because this is the new window this is just another complete frame so as you can see this is just you can type in this as normal as you wanted console dot log and of course the shift key works and everything so you can start parentheses whatever you want you can start some quotes I'm just going to be doing hello world. Yeah, whatever. I don't care about spelling mistakes. I'm going to enter right there. As you can see, of course, everything is syntax highlighted by by Antler. Sorry. And this is the same thing that MSP90 uses. It's super easy. They have over 100 things like languages that you can add by yourself. And then if we want to run this, and just do control R uh, one sec what I do all right so I just found a bug but I think we're all good now so if you want to run this you can just click control and then R and then right here the console will go blank and it looks like I messed something up over here Oh, I forgot the end in console. What do you know?
There we go. So let's try to run this again. It's going to clear this all out. And there we go. Hello world. Now, uh, the keyboard works pretty much just as you'd think a keyboard would. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else I have to say. So if you like this, star the repo, uh, comment on Reddit whenever I post this. And yeah, see you guys later in the next IDE.